Kirkwood Ski Resort is a world-class California ski resort with an elevation of 9,800 feet, a vertical drop of 2,000 feet, 2,300 skiable acres, and on average gets 354 inches of snow a season. Now this is our resort review series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we explore, we see what it has to offer, and then we come back here and we give it a score from 0 to 100. Now the way we're going to get that score is by going over 10 categories. Each category is going to get a score from 0 to 10. Now 0 is not applicable, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. And that's just how we're gonna rate these ski resorts. Just gonna have to deal with it. But after we go through all 10 categories, we'll give that score from zero to 100. And then I'm gonna tell you who this resort is for. So if you wanna come on a ski trip, maybe not to Colorado, and you're looking for other places to go, well, that's what the idea of these videos are for. Is this a great place for you guys to come check out? Now lift prices, how expensive is it to ride at Kirkwood? Well, at $159 for the day, that's pretty on par for the majority of ski resorts. You know, their resorts kind of sets the prices for a lot of stuff since they are kind of the leaders in the industry, but it is on the Epic Pass. And so I thought the overall $159 is way better than $200 for a day. So when it came to lift prices, I gave them a five for lift prices, kind of in the middle. Now lodging, can you ski in, ski out at Kirkwood? And you actually can. There's actually a good amount of lodging options for Kirkwood. It's just unique because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere but once again Vail Resorts owns it so maybe they threw a bunch of properties on there and stuff like that you can find all kinds of lodging that you want to stay at so I gave them an eight for lodging now ease of access how easy is it to get to Kirkwood well if you fly into Reno you're only looking at an hour and 22 minute drive which isn't bad however it's kind of a gnarly road to get up there I know over the years that I've gone we've had had some challenging moments especially if it's snowing to get up there you're driving through tunnels of snow it's it's a pretty rad I mean you're going to a really rad area but you're definitely driving through the mountains so when it came to ease of access I give them a a free freeze of access that drive it can be super gnarly now of course you know why we went to Kirkwood ski resort it's a pretty rad place but we'd go to a lot of small little tiny ski resorts and the reason why we do that is we have this crazy goal to ride every ski resort in the United States and you guys can track our progress by going to resortskimaps.com now this is the resort map of every resort in the United States all the green snowboarders are the places that we have been you can click on them and watch our videos there watch resort reviews from there literally see so much information of these ski resorts but if you click on a red snowboarder there's still information but that just means we haven't been there yet so there's no video of of that resort. Now you can click the top right hand corner and see our schedule for the upcoming season, see if we're coming to your ski resort so you can kind of show us around, hang out with us. It's always really rad to meet you guys on the mountain. But truly resortskimaps.com is the coolest website for planning ski trips and just checking out every resort in the world. It's like the most incredible website in the world and so I'm stoked that we have that and that is linked in the description. Now lifts, we got to get up the mountain and they do have 10 options or 10 chairlifts to get us up there. Specifically one that, that takes you to the very very top but there's a big sign that says like you will die if you go up this lift it's, it's pretty gnarly it's, it's kind of intimidating but they also have three service lifts and so when it came to lifts I gave them a four none of them are like the fanciest of the fanciest they are there to get you places that being said there is like some of them don't flow very well together and like the t-bar is in such a weird spot so like the lifts could be placed a little better but they're okay a four for lifts now runs we got up and boy do we gotta get down some of the steepest terrain I feel like I've ever ridden at a ski resort the whole entire mountain is basically steep which is super fun I, I personally love how gnarly Kirkwood is and personally I've become such a better big mountain rider that I have to go back because of the runs are just I barely touched the surface of how rad and gnarly the ski resort is now they do have some beginner terrain but realistically you're going to this mountain to ride big mountain steep trees like going for powder Kirkwood is like the gnarly mountain in the area so when it comes to runs at Kirkwood once again they're like the gnarliest that I've ever I gave them a 10 like they I, I know they have some of the sickest terrain out there I gotta go back and experience a 10 for runs But they did build a train park, at least when I was there. Once again, Vail Resorts owns this, and what they're doing in Colorado is absolutely ruining all of our train parks. So when I was there, the park that I rode was pretty fun. They had some good sized jumps, they had really fun built rails and everything. I gave them a four for the terrain park, but I don't know if the park is still that. So I need someone that's been there in the last couple of years to let me know if the park is still that good. We'll definitely get back out to Kirkwood, but like, I don't know. Vail's kind of been destroying train parks, which is a bummer. Now, 
Now, if you're enjoying this series and you like this goal to riding every single ski resort in the United States, you guys can help us by snagging an Evolution sticker. We do have a ski version for all the skiers out there as well. Snagging the merch, throwing it on the side of your helmet, letting everybody know your part of Team Monk Alice really does support the Dream Guides. That's how we fund all this traveling and everything like that. Is you guys snagging any of my merchandise is all linked down below. And if you do snag it, tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in my vlogs. Thanks for everyone that buys the Evolution sticker. You guys are incredible. We also have a ton of like colors and styles and versions, just so you know. Now, food, you're gonna get hungry, you're gonna wanna eat on the mountain, and they do have a couple lodge options for you as well, some, some nicer dining. And with eight options for food, you're definitely gonna find yourself something that you're gonna wanna eat. So when it came to food, I gave them an eight for the food, one for every restaurant that they had. Now that's just how that worked out. Now views and scenery, how sick are the views at Kirkwood? Well, the mountain itself is, I think, the better view. It's super steep and super gnarly. When you're looking off some areas, the, the mountains, you're definitely on the biggest mountains or like the ones surrounding it are kind of small, still an incredible view, very gorgeous. So I gave them a seven for views and scenery. Now employees, an employee can absolutely make or break your day in the mountain. You can have an employee that gets you the right skis, the right boots, everything fits, and like you have the best day ever. Or you can have an employee that like, doesn't care about you, rushes you out the door, gives you boots that are too big, skis that are too small, you have a horrible day on the mountain, and that sucks. And I've personally had an experience where it, that could ruin anybody's trip. And you can check that video out right there. So that's why we cover employees because this stuff can be important, but at Kirkwood, it's not that important because I have never really had a good or bad experience with employees. They've all been pretty consistent, so I gave them a five for employees. They're all pretty average. I, and I've gone to Kirkwood for like eight years in a row. So like, it's pretty consistent. Now the last category though, would I go back factor? Because if I wouldn't go back to a ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And personally, Kirkwood was my favorite epic owned Tahoe resort that I would go to and travel to. And once again, I barely scratched the surface of my big mountain riding. Now that I'm a much better big mountain rider, like I have to go back to Kirkwood. I have to ride all their steep, gnarly terrain and, and really rip it. So I gave him a 10 on the would I go back factor. Kirkwood has always been so much fun. And then when you're there, you know you're far away from a lot of people and you're in California, which always feels really good. So it's just, uh, it's a fun experience. Once again, if you're enjoying this video or you want to see if I reviewed your ski resort, you can check out the resort view playlist right here or go once again back to resortskimaps.com and we have a list of all of the rankings of the resort reviews and you can see how this resort or your resort compares to the top dogs in the industry. All right, Kirkwood from zero to 100, what is the score that they got? They got a subscribe. A 64, which is an above average ski resort. It's honestly actually a little lower than I thought it would score in total, with it being my favorite California resort that I've currently been to. But it's still, 64 is great. And who is this mountain for? This is for big mountain riders, which I am now a big mountain rider and I'm ready to go back Kirkwood. But with that, Team Outgals, thank you so much for shredding with me today. Now, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Stay on the channel. We do stuff like this. Damn.